Judy, can you explain where to start and where to stop as far as leaving the neck and the head? Because so many groomers have a problem of, you know, what point to come in with your blade. Um, do you have a reference you go by, bone structure, anything like that? Well, it says in the breed standards that the withers are equal to the elbow. So whatever I do here, I want to do here. Okay, and he actually could use some more hair on the back of his front leg. Okay, um, I want my, my, the front of my head, I'm gonna do from the jawline underneath to the, about the Adam's apple, and that's gonna be very clean. And then from the back of the head, I'm going to match the length that I've done on his body here. So I don't wanna indent that. I don't wanna get into this with my universal comb I want to do that by hand to make sure that I don't pinch his neck because in almost everything we groom, they want to see parallel lines. So when I look from front to back, I want to see straight. When I look at his legs, I want to see straight. When I look over the top of this dog, I want to see straight. I don't want to see a waist. I don't want to see big shoulders. I want to see straight because that's what it tells me in the AKC dog book. That's what the breed standard tells me that this dog needs to look like. Doesn't matter if it's a show dog, doesn't matter if it's a pet. That's what the breed standard calls for. And so whatever you can do to help create that look with this dog, then you're, the happier your customers are going to be. Because, you know, they always want the dog to look like the dog on the bones box or, or whatever. So that's, what I, I, that's the way I groom and that's the way I teach because that's the thing. And, you know, I didn't start out grooming show dogs. I, didn't, I, I started out as a pet groomer. But because I learned about the structure of the dogs, now when a show dog comes to my shop or comes to my mobile, I can groom that dog and, and even take it in the show, do uh, the show ring and win with it. So, anything else? Good. Just one of the people at home to see if they came to the trade show, what kind of interaction you get, what you can see as far as the seminars that are going on at the actual trade show. So, thank you, Judy Hudson, good friend of mine from Tennessee. I'm going to go over here and talk to Chris. All right. Thanks.